massive thank you. Sallanca kuşla çeyreği Currently, my dad is getting some petrol. We're on our way to Exeter because officially my uni, my medical school starts tomorrow. Time is five past nine. I am in the morning on a Wednesday. See you guys there. We're here in Exeter right now to do my grocery shopping. Then um, we'll go to my home for the next academic year. My dad is on his own world. <laughs> my dad is on his own world. He's like unaware of me recording this even. He's just like following me around, being on his phone, not helping me, but it's fine because he drove quite a long way and he's the one who's going to be paying for this shopping. So it's not too bad. Okay. Tamam. We're here. This is going to be my room for the next year. <laughs> How was your summer? It was really chill. It was nice to have a break. Didn't do basically anything. Felt bad by watching your videos that you were doing revision. So I did literally five question in past and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this, like gun to our head. How was your summer? <laughs> hey, I had a good summer. Um, it was a bit of a lazy summer. I didn't do much work. and ready to get back into a schedule. Clara. Hi. Sorry for laughing, it's just because the way you said hi was so sweet. There's a whole thing about doing revision. I've done like, yeah, I've done five questions in the whole summer. <laughs> Currently, I'm in Wrestler's room just to give you guys an update because my dad is talking to people in my room. So the plan is basically cleaning all the wardrobes in my room, then unpacking all the stuff that are in the luggages and basically organizing them, putting them all into those wardrobes. Then Wrestler already helps me with my kitchen stuff and like groceries. She already put them all into the cupboards, which was really helpful. So thank you, Wrestler, for that. Then we'll just drive down to Cornwall to pick up the rest of my stuff that I left in my old room. So it's going to be a bit tiring and like complicated because we drove five hours to get to Exeter and from Exeter we go down to Cornwall to get the rest of my stuff then we'll have to drive back up to Exeter again this was the only way but tomorrow my uni induction starts at 9am in the morning so I'll have to get it all done today and move in properly today so let's get this done <laughs>
I'm so tired. I actually thought I'd be able to unpack everything that I had and like move in today properly. But there's no way. I have an early morning tomorrow, so unpacking all of these will be future Zilly House problem. So I'll go to sleep now or I'll attempt to go to sleep because my dad snores a lot. <laughs> He can hear me right now, but my dad snores a lot and he's super tired today. So there is not a high chance of me falling asleep tonight. Good morning. I'm just walking my dad to his car. Right now he's going back home this morning. It's currently 6.30 a.m. in the morning. I'm back in my room now without my dad. I actually had okay sleep last night because bless my dad he actually tried really hard not to snore like whenever he caught himself snore he would change his position so he doesn't i'm very grateful for that thank you baba but now i can sleep for one and a half hour before i need to get up and get ready to go to my induction at the hospital i'm hoping you can hear me because it's raining quite a lot right now at the end of this day when i unpack all of these i'll show you guys the end results of this room Two days later, this is the situation in the room. I still need to put a lot of decorations up, but at least all the boxes that were in the room are gone now and I'm fully unpacked. And this is me. And yeah, that's the room tour. The view from my room is not as good as it was last year, but at least I can still see the sky on the right hand side. And it's not just block of building in front of me. Well, it kind of is, but not on the right side at least. <laughs> and this is the other window that looks up to the sky. I just want to come here and say massive thank you for 1000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your continuous support. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider to do so. I know this video was a little bit more different than the rest of my videos but hope you enjoyed it and medical school vlogs will be coming up soon and i'll see you in the next one bye, bye.